Yeah, let's go. <laughs> All right, we should probably be taking a quick trip back to view a few things what missed by Red. Off in the distance. Look up, Reggie. I think there's stuff in the sky that... Okay. Well, it happened. Right, there was a big ship. Oh, that's cool. What is that? Oh. Off in the distance. Oh. It's a ship. Look at the size of it. <laughs> it was straight up it. <laughs> yeah. They give you a while, actually, to look at it. And I was just like, pew, 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 look straight ahead, down. <laughs> so we had a view of, at the very beginning of Sovereign. Of Sovereign. Meanwhile, I was looking at my feet. My God, it's like someone dropped a bomb. That must be where the Geth ship landed. Unblocking a romance gated Kaidan conversation. Really? Glad to see you're okay, Commander. That's it? I think if you were a Femship, you'd get to have a conversation with Kaiden there. Ooh. Oh. As opposed to Ash. Well, that still sucks. Oh, this is weird. Oh. We're on both I sides of the screen. The right to, you know, <laughs> I want. You've got a good grasp of the situation. You a career man? Yeah, a lot of biotics are. We're not restricted, but we sure don't go undocumented. We may as well get a paycheck for it. Besides, my father served. I made him proud when I enlisted. Eventually. But is that why you're here? Because of your family? Couldn't keep me out if you tried. Best way to explore the galaxy is behind a cannon. Is that how you got here? I heard about a coos. I bet you had your pick of posts after that. We're headed for the Citadel. When we get done with business, you and I should work out a liberty rotation. Some of the crew could use it, Commander. Wow. Okay. Rex's earlier recruitment route. So you can oh, pick him up earlier than before, when I did? Before the, um... Witnesses saw you making threats in Fist's Going down bar. to the bar. Stay away from him. I don't take orders from you. This is your only warning, Rex. You should warn Fist. I will kill him. Oh. You want me to arrest you? I want you to try. Go on. Get out of here. <laughs> Do I know you, human? I'm so glad he's alive. I'm going after Fist. I don't want you getting in my way. Huh. Now I recognize you. Commander Shepard from the Alliance. Heard a lot about you. We're both warriors, Shepard. Out of respect, I'll give you a fair warning. I'm going to kill Fist. Who's Fist? Fist knows you're coming. We'll have a better chance if we all work together. My people have a say. Who's that? Seek the enemy of your enemy, and you will find a friend. Does this mean you're part of my team, Rex? Let's go. I hate to keep Fist waiting. Screw Fist. He doesn't pay us enough for this. <laughs> it would have been quicker to just kill them. Shooting people isn't always the answer. Here on the wards, the back alley by the markets. She's supposed to meet them right now. You can make it if you hurry. Damn, son. Oh my god! <laughs> the Shadow Broker paid me to kill him. I don't leave jobs half done. A lot of people died because of him. He had it coming. Now let's move. We have to save that Quarian. <laughs> that oh my god got to me. <laughs> They do cut away from the uh, from the Just tell me executions. Congratulations, Shepard. Heard they made you a specter. I'm glad somebody got the council to see Saren for what he really is. I appreciate that, Garrus. I resigned from CSEC after the council ignored my investigation. I was sick of all the politics. You're the only one who seems to be doing anything about Saren. Let me come with you. Get it. I don't need a Turian shooting me in the back when I least expect it. Damn, damn. All Turians are not the same. I'm not like Saren. I couldn't prove it in my investigation, but I knew what was really going on. Saren is a traitor to the council and a disgrace to my people. Unfortunately, we couldn't read what Ashley's mind was because of the, I'll be here if you change the bottom of the screen. <laughs> what it, ah, shit, I... Sorry, I like anything in that this. row is gone. We now can't read it. <laughs> I was thinking I should come along. A Krogan's more trouble than I need. I don't cause problems, I solve them. You go after Saren, you'll be glad I'm around. I don't want you on this mission. 
your loss. Damn. If you change your mind, come look me up. Oh, they I'll give you a chance to go and get him. Oh. In case you're like, hey, idiot, you're fucking up your game. So you can go just missing a bunch of people. If you're full spacist. That Tanar yeah. refuses to listen to reason. Why can't it act in an orderly and lawful manner? Because it's a big, stupid jellyfish. No, no wonder the council <laughs> treats us like outsiders. Maybe just another drop in a bucket they already can't carry. They must figure us for one more gang of FNGs looking for a handout. I doubt it's personal. It's got to be a balancing act, like every other government. All right, secure the chatter. We're all FNGs here, but we don't need to make it obvious. I haven't spent much time with any Krogan before you, Rex. I have to say, you're not what I expected. Right. Because you humans have a wide range of cultures and attitudes. But Krogan <laughs> all think and act exactly alike. Look, I didn't mean... Just forget I said anything. <laughs> Saren was one of the most respected Koreans in the galaxy, Garrus. Are you gonna be okay going up against him? Saren is either a traitor or a madman. Taking him down will restore the good name of Turians everywhere. Just keep saying that, especially to humans. We've got a lot of angry people right now. At the time the statue was built, the entire galaxy respected. Yeah, slow the zooming on his face in the middle of that one. You won't have to put up with us for much longer, Turian. Our people will die out soon enough, thanks to you. Some would argue you brought this on yourself. It was the Krogan who started the war. And the Turians made sure to finish it. The Krogan rebelled against the Council, yet they have a statue nice. on the Citadel. And we Quarians still live as outcasts. At least you still live. In another 200 years, this statue might be the only evidence my people ever existed. Some want to see this Krogan monument removed. But it is important to remember our history, even if those memories make us uncomfortable. Uh -huh. The statue represents what the Krogan used to be. A proud and fierce nation. Now we're just brutes for hire to the highest bidder. We've forgotten our roots. You are very different from the other Krogan I have met, Rex. I'll take that as a compliment. You've been given command yeah, of an Yara advanced said, not human in the museum. Here, Mr. Mr. Can just stay Is there anything there. you'd like to say about it? Meanwhile, Ash is still terrible. Insinuations. <laughs> just yeah. You son of a bitch. So he folded her. Just what? I'm sure everyone in the alliance sees that your career is over. Commander, Ms. fuck Angelani's the press. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Wild. This comes straight from the Joint Military Command. <laughs> Sir, she was going to make me look bad no matter what I said. <laughs> well, there were better ways to handle it than knocking her on her That was ass. crazy, dude. That was crazy. As was to see. <laughs> How satisfying as that was to see. <laughs> My wife was a Marine. She was in the 212 on Eden Prime. The 212? Isn't that Ashley's unit? She might want to meet Mr. Batia. Wait. The 212? Your wife was serviceman Narali Batia. I'm Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams. I served in her unit. Oh, wow. Chief Williams, it is a pleasure. Narali spoke of you with great respect. I'm so sorry for your loss, Mr. Batia. Narali was a good woman. What can we do for you? This is war. People die. If you want to keep that to a minimum, let them run those tests. You think I've not given enough? Don't speak to me of duty. <laughs> My wife is dead. Yes, she is, Mr. Batia. You're nodding your heads she at your own choices. Fighting for what she believed in. <laughs> she sacrificed her life to keep you safe. I think she'd want to make the most of that sacrifice. You're right, Miss Williams. She would not flinch from her duty. <laughs> Let them run their tests. Let my wife save lives so that others are spared the loss I feel today. And our red oh, shepherd God is right there. Made. Damn. How does that work? Thank you for speaking <laughs> with him. I can't spend gratitude. I would not dream of letting you go without payment. I do not make a habit of incurring debts. Pay up. These credits will cover your expenses. I also have one more thing to give you, if you are interested. What are you offering me? I offer a gift of words. Uh -huh. Remember these words when doubt descends, Commander. <laughs> uh, thanks, I guess. 
Close your eyes and relax, Commander. I'm not wearing a pseudo armor. Pod! You can go, you can go double blue. You can go double blue. Yeah, <laughs> and, the, and the, the Titanic shot. Right, steam on the fucking glass. And now glass. I must ask you to leave. I have done everything I can for you. <laughs> Okay. Remember my words. Renegade, Renegade point plus, plus two. They will give you strength. <laughs> I could have gone I double. I can't tell the aliens from the animals. Oh my gosh! Please. <laughs> <laughs> and they're standing right there the whole time, mind you. <laughs> I'm an L2 like you. Trust I made him watch. Me. The commander can make sure that Burns follows through. I pulled through. rank on them. <laughs> sure. You promise us freedom and say everything will be fine, but as soon as we surrender, you'll double cross us. If you die fighting, you'll get a lot of biotics killed as well. What do you mean? If people think that all L2 biotics are violent extremists, what is that going to accomplish? Mm -hmm. But people need to hear about what the government has done and what it has failed to do. People have heard. You've already accomplished that. You don't need to die for it. You're right. I don't want to die. Maybe something will happen this time. We surrender. I'll see to it that the reparations discussion is reopened. I didn't know they were so desperate. Then you weren't doing your job. The Fifth Plate Cruiser will pick you and the prisoners up. Caden mentions Canada, but only if romance is unlocked. We've played it pretty close to the book so far. Ontario, we're Edmonton, we're where are we from? from? Up. We've got some tough calls to make. I'm just saying, try to leave yourself a way out. I've seen what cutting corners can do, and I'd hate to have that happen to you, Shepard. Maybe that's not my place. I don't want to send any bad signals, Commander. Just, um, working on what I've picked up. You tell me if I'm going too far. Mm -mm. Do you think I've made any bad decisions so far? I'm not questioning any decision you've made, Shepard. Let me be clear about that. It's just my experience that once someone lets something slide, it tends to pick up speed. Do you get my meaning? No. Elenko, <laughs> you have one failure. It's an inability to speak directly. Our instructor was a Turian by the name of Commander Vernus. To introduce himself, he liked to say, I was at the helm of the dreadnought that killed your father. Well, I told him my dad wasn't in the war. He'd retired to Vancouver. My family had an inland home that matured to New Beachfront. <laughs> BC! Vernus had it in How about for me that? after that. He cut corners, pushed hard. I mean, you either came out a Superman or a wreck. A lot of kids snapped. A few died. The point of all of this, I guess, is that when you cut corners, it's not always obvious who pays for it. So why are you telling me this? Are you saying I'm cutting corners somewhere? Oh, so much talking. I'm saying it's probably inevitable that we'll have to. And when that happens, I want to help you. When someone important to you is up on a ledge, you help them. Keep them from mistakes better made by a kid. If I'm out of line, just say the word. You're out of now line. Now isn't the ideal time. But I want to talk about this, Caden. One missed Ashley's story. So much talking with Caden. I'm surprised. Things were tense between Sarah and me for a while. Then we bonded. I mean, he's an Sounds alternate like romance story. path. Feel like yeah. sharing? Sarah got herself a boyfriend who wanted to go faster than she did. Mike. I didn't think he was a bad kid, just pushy. Lynn would send me these worried vid mails, and I'd tell her to relax. Where were you when this was going on? I was on active duty. Sarah's graduating high school this year. This was only a couple of years back. They were on Amaterasu. At the time, I was assigned to Chernobyl. Same cluster, but a dozen hell why away. Close enough to talk regularly, too far to make it back in an emergency. I couldn't afford a fast packet flight. The male pursues the female. That's their nature. In the genes. They're gonna keep their genes on around my sisters. What? Unless they want to get up for Fucking what? with privilege <laughs> Mike thought they'd go for a romantic walk in the woods, because he figured it was the past time they did the deed. 
She levered Mike face first into a tree and left. Wretch. Didn't have a scratch on her. Good thing mom and dad had us all learn. Alternate timeline. Alternate timeline. That's some Doctor Strange shit, okay? You said all of your sisters learned self defense? Lynn did pistol practice, but didn't like it. She's kind of nervous. Sarah took Aikido. Nice. Abby decided to learn the sword. She always was a little weird. Likes big skirts and tops you have to tie her into. They do great things to her figure, though. <laughs> so, what did you learn? One of Dad's friends taught me Marine hand to hand. Why didn't you tell the police? She said it wouldn't solve the real problem, and she and Mike would both become household names. It was a small colony. I said it was her call to make, that we should let her do it her way. Mom was pretty pissed about that. Dude, I'm zoning out in real life. <laughs> like, I'm zoning out about... <laughs> My last day out, Mike was waiting for us. So uh, uh, yeah. Friends, so Don't everyone at school knew what he did. He wasn't happy. Oh, it's one of those conversations. But Sarah gave me this look, <laughs> this let me handle it, I need to do this alone look. She kept her cool, God bless uh -huh. her, as he screamed in her face. She just let him vent. Then he tried to punch her. As long as she doesn't ask a question, swear, you're she good. she just flowed around him. You know, keywords knew, floating, just like, and you know, wanted to punch her. She cracked him in the face. Just, good. yeah. When he swung, she just... She wasn't there anymore. Or you do the and classic, like you just repeat the last couple of words. She and he fell? Shh, don't tell my tricks. <laughs> People might be watching. <laughs> Before they took him to the hospital, Mike touched Sarah's arm. I thought he was going to end up on the ground again. But Silence. Oh shit, that's wild. I'm sorry. <laughs> Started he started crying? She blah, 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 blah. The Williams Silence. women are decisive. Oh, yeah? <laughs> we do things when we're ready. Not before, not after. Not before, right not after. Thing. That wasn't interesting. Okay. That wasn't and where was interesting. Your during all this? <laughs> Dad always wanted to serve in space, but he wanted us to have real ground under and our feet. she's still talking. He'd say space is beautiful, but you can't raise Metal Gear? <laughs> For always roaming with a hungry heart, much have I Muff. seen known. Cities of men and manners, climates, What's high D doing in Alaska? Is the rest of your she life loves hearing herself. You know. Not everyone goes through the crap you had to, Commander. Well, you can call her out there. <laughs> okay, God. all right. Fair enough. God, he's pleased. Like he's now that you're pleasant until the last minute. What are you planning to do next? If you allow it, remember that I would poetry like to bullshit with the colonists. They have this, suffered greatly, this, and I played a role in their suffering. And I would like to make amends. I told her that was boring. You change sides too often. I have no choice. Get in the harem. You must die. So be it. If this is the fate you feel I deserve, then I will not resist. Oh shit. Double tap. <laughs> Just I have no time to entertain colonial <laughs> okay. rubes. You have a problem with colonials? No appreciation for economics. Protectionists and communists, all of them. You've never worked in the corporate world, have you, Commander? You can't bludgeon <laughs> through bureaucracy. I can bludgeon pretty hard. My employers rely on the goodwill of the executive board to work here. If these executives don't blame Analeas for provoking this, they're fools. You should eat them. Laura Keene is under investigation. Analeas is paying you to shake this place down. That makes you a criminal. I can kill criminals. You're bluffing. You're right. They're actually going to let me eat you. <laughs> he ain't paying me enough to take on specters or alliance troops or whatever. <laughs> oh, killing Parasini? Damn. What do you want now? Your secretary is a plant for the executive board. Internal affairs, no. she said. Eh, that is good to know. Would you mind stepping outside? I'm afraid I will have to let Miss Parasini go. It can't wait. Your mind has not been fully on your duty to me. I don't understand, sir. I'm not losing this job. Analeas, if I don't report in, the board will figure it out. Put the weapon- I said I'm not losing this job! That's insane. That's insane. Mother- You just stand there. Corporal, secure the area. Keep everyone out of here, now! Yes, ma'am. What happened here, Commander Shepard? Oh. Gianna was investigating Analeas' corruption. She worked for the executive board. He panicked, called her in, shot wildly. 
Yeah. Makes sense. He was always paranoid. Excuse me, Commander. The death of an executive must always be filed in triplicate. So what actually happened there? Some fucking wild Black Widow shit? Is there an Asari here? There is an Asari I cannot identify standing next to you. How you tolerate literal-minded VIs is beyond me. The Purge is a neutron burst weapon. Two volumes of fissionable materials are brought together to form a critical mass. Most of the energy is released in the form of high-speed neutrons. This radiation is instantly lethal to any known form of life within 500 meters. Nah, just a pleasant afternoon in the sun for a Krogan. The Purge is lethal to all known forms of... Shut up. <laughs> Last thing I need is some virtual wench questioning my fitness. A virtual wench. <laughs> we would be wise to avoid touching any controls without reading the instructions. It's always a good idea to RTFM. You read the fucking manual. To what? Your way of communicating <laughs> is strange. Flat. It does not color the air. When we speak, one moves all. This is gonna be a fun conversation. Ashley, relax. Make your peace with the galaxy. The Rachni are a dead race. Ashley hates the colored air. Genocide <laughs> is way beyond the scope of our mandate. It's the worst kind of air. Our mandate is whatever's necessary. If you don't have the guts to follow through, quit. We can't exterminate them. Not without the Council's approval. Genocide is one of the reasons we fought the Krogan. Ah. You want to learn about genocide, Vigil? <laughs> I'll take you to a Krogan obstetrician's office. No. Oh, stop feeling shit. and think. Even if you disagree with Asari morals, you must see she could be an ally. What's the matter? Are the Asari looking for a new species to cuddle up with? Damn. Hey, he's not talking to me. I won't destroy your entire race. <laughs> You'll go free. There's a reason their kind were hunted to extinction. Garrus like, to ah, ah, a dangerous race ah. Ah. <laughs> kind the little oh, mouth flaps oh, going like, <laughs> I don't oh, want to trust the safety oh, of my no. little sisters to this alien. It's better to be sure. Okay, this quest is only available for shepherds with the colonists. Sorry to bother you. This is Lieutenant Girard down in the docking bay. There is a woman here. Uh, she was rescued from Batarian slavers a few weeks ago. She's from Minoir. I guess she was taken in the raid on your town. Frenchie? You mean she was taken in the raid that killed my parents? Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. She got free somehow. Grabbed a gun from one of my guys. Oh, there was Dr. Now she's Michelle holding here well. in the docking bay. She, right, uh, uh, Chloe? She says she wants to die. I hoped you'd talk Who to I her. forgot. It's a long shot, but you went through the same thing. <laughs> The raid. I figured maybe you could talk her out of her tree. I'm on my way, Lieutenant. Sit tight. Anything you could do would be great. I don't want to. Uh, she's been through enough. I'll have my men stand by for you. Lieutenant, if she wants to die, let her die. <laughs> That's her choice to make. That's the KOTOR sound. <laughs> I, uh... Understood, Commander. We'll try to handle her ourselves. Sorry to bother you. Commander, glad to see you. She's back there? Yes, sir. We would just be like, John Williams, Behind will you calm rounds. down? <laughs> Chill but out! Sniper position, He's got the, core of the, the orchestra She's ready. only a danger to herself. <laughs> We've got a sedative to calm her down, but we can't get close to her. Every step we take gets her more wound up. You seem awfully worried about her. I, I, I'm just doing my job, Commander. I'll talk to her. Keep yeah, back. Yeah, have Frenchie from the Don't boys push play him. Too hard. If she seems liable to pull the trigger, back off. Or walk away. I am willing to wait her out. Good luck, Commander. Stop, stop! What are you... Who what are you? My name is Shepard. Lieutenant Gerard sent me to talk to you. Identify What's yourself. Your Animals don't get names. <laughs> The masters put their symbols on her. Hot metal all over her back. She screams when they do it. You must have a name. A name you were born with. Can you remember it? She remembers a lot of things. Talitha. They call her that. She... She doesn't remember the rest. Leave her alone. Bad trigger discipline. 
<laughs> What's the last thing you remember from Mindwar? Fires. Smells of smoke and burning meat. Animals screaming as the masters caged them. As they put the metal to their backs, put the wires in their brains. She pretends to be dead. If she's dead, she can't work. But they know. She hopes to leave. But so this could be your pain. first intro to the Batarians. She didn't fight. In a distant she was context. Broken when they put the wires in. You were just a child when this oh. happened. You can't blame yourself for pulling the blankets over your head and hoping the monsters go away. Her mommy says there are no monsters, no real ones. When they come, there aren't any blankets. Talitha, you were what, six years old? No one blames you for staying quiet and hoping they'd go away. The only person blaming you is you. She wants to believe that. She wants to believe nothing would change. She doesn't want to be there anymore. In the pen, in the cages, lying quiet while they do things to her. I was on Mindwar. My parents died in the raid. Lying? You get hit for lying? Get the buzz or the burning? Can't be there. Why are you alive? Why are you? Why aren't you like her? Rogan. Only fit to dig and carry. Some say I am broken. I kill aliens for a living, to protect humans from them. An animal that kills. Like the ones that made the masters explode. She can't do that. She can't kill. Not to feel better about her past. Nobody breaks me. I fought. My whole family fought and got hit by an artillery strike for their trouble. I got buried under rubble. If they saw me, they left me for dead. Dead animals can't work. You lose your mommy and daddy, but you don't dig, you don't carry. You stand up. She wishes she could stand up. I'm going to take a step towards you now, okay? No, she's no good. Don't want to be handled again. Uh oh. What happened to your parents? There's... She sees them. They're yelling, run, hide! They hit the masters. But the masters, they have lights and hoses. Daddy's... He's melting! Shh! She doesn't want to see that! Don't make her look! Don't look! Stupid, stupid! Damn. Listen to me. It's not your fault. You're not responsible. The slavers killed your parents. You didn't. No! She doesn't think about it. It doesn't happen. Daddy's at work. Mommy's making dinner. Go away! I know it hurts, Talitha. I'm sorry. But you need to deal with this. What happened to them? Think. When she thinks, water comes out of her eyes. The masters beat her when she wastes water. So she doesn't think anymore. She sees them. Mommy and Daddy. Burning in white light, melting, going to pieces. They can't even say anything to her. They're dead, Shepard. They try to save her and the Masters burn them. Can she stop remembering now, please? I'm going to take a step towards you now, okay? She doesn't want... Don't touch her! How did you get here? Did you escape? She can't escape. They have chains, Man. wires, needles. You go too far, they Between take your brains away. Between this and the DLC, like, you really Animals get like to meet come. this whole Animals other race guns. that I didn't they remember or experience explode. at all she when I played Mass Effect 1. Yeah. So like, I, I'm like, her. what were the Batarians again? I'm like, oh, the there was like a codex entry, in, I guess, and that was it. Move. And like, there's a whole thing Heather, here, but it's all optional. You were rescued by Alliance forces. Didn't that make you happy? Happy? The animals look at her funny. They look at her and she knows. She's dirty and stupid, broken. She doesn't talk good. 
She doesn't have clothes. She is an animal. The Marines destroyed your world. As bad as it was, that was still the only world you knew. You didn't know them. They weren't safe. She doesn't want to see other animals. They're not real. They can't be real. They can't see her. If the animals can see her, then this is real. But it can't be. The wires, the chains, the hitting. This doesn't happen to her. It's another girl. A dirty girl. Stupid girl. Whoa. She deserves it. It happens to her. Doesn't it? They see her, so it's real. She doesn't want it to be real. So the entire I'm mission is a like a now. dialogue okay. mission, I guess. Like it's just like a verbal battle to like mm. uh uh talk Please to someone don't with touch trauma. Her. She's Which dead. again, like I, I that's it? it's it locks Calibre. to your origin. This will make you sleep. Interesting. If you fall asleep, they'll take huh. you to a place where you can get better. Will she have bad dreams? Oh. I'm not going to lie to you. I just don't know. She'd like that. It hurts when she... When I remember... Oh. Me. But she wants to remember. What a unique quest. Thanks, Commander. That means a lot. Huh. I didn't want to That's her. one of the most unique it's quests just, in the game. When I see Holy her shit. into a ball and shivering. It, wow. She was only six when they took her. Why the hell are we out here if we can't even keep one little girl safe? I don't have any answers for you, Lieutenant. We're doing what we can. Will that ever be enough? Thanks for your help, yeah. Commander. Another we are so that's her like to a counseling center. Then help her get back. Optional verbal boss battle. Don't push me, Shepard. I followed you because I wanted to fight for something more right. than credits. Oh, no. If you can't give me a better reason than this to destroy the hopes of my people, then I'm done with you. I can't let you jeopardize the mission. So that's it. All this time, and that's all I get from you. Rex, please. We can discuss this. No more talk, Shepard. I've got to do this my way. No, 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 no. Fucking Ashley? I don't think so, friend. It's over! And the, it's over! And the fin and the Why triple the hell did tap. You do that? I was still talking to him. I'm sorry, sir. I couldn't take the I risk can't. that he might injure you. I can't. I hate worse. this bitch. <laughs> That's not your call. Never What's do that good? Again. A single thing Understood. that's good about her. There's Wait, nothing. What? I would Did never chill with her. <laughs> I would never candidate. chill with her. It would be high bye. <laughs> high bye. Oh. I'm not gonna mess with you because I don't want to engage. Or... I don't. I'm not even. Or. Or that. Commander, are you... All right? No, I'm not. I can't believe he'd turn on us. What happened? He just proved to us why this place needs to be completely destroyed. Damn. I know he was angry. I just didn't think he'd lose his life Gun for it. Gunbutt into Better fucking... Better the commander. Yeah. I suppose. Like, done dirty on the ground. Yeah. It's it's wild. The scene is wild. <laughs> Ceremony. You did the right thing, Rex. You could have jeopardized the whole mission. Thank you, Asuna. You will miss Thank the you. broken strength, but I sense the team is It is, is a wild scene. Gone. Yeah. So yeah, Ash can interrupt that situation and, and fucking. Williams, radio Joker, and tell him to meet come us from on the left tower. Yes, Commander. I. It's the right choice. Bad and ending you know incoming. I'm sorry, Caden. I had to make a choice. I understand, Commander. I don't regret a thing. This is the Red Shepherd because an alcoholic ending. Mm-hmm. Drunk Spectre pulling up to the Citadel to try to save the day. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, hang 
the fuck over there. <laughs> Ah, you ragged bitch. I can't believe I did that for you. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Trailer Park naked. Ashley in red. We just leave him down there. It was your goddamn choice, we Red! We have to leave him behind. <laughs> Saren has to be stopped at any cost. Ashley is like, why did we leave Caden behind? I'm no. like, I should have been you! <laughs> Chief Williams, I am your commanding officer. Do do. Don't question my Commander, orders. no! I'm, I'm sorry, Commander. You saved my life. I'm grateful for that. But it should have been me. Alenko was a superior officer. I know! I would have gladly stayed behind. I would sacrifice Ash, you and all your sisters to get Caden back. Are you, going to drive yourself? <laughs> are you trying to be a martyr? To redeem your grandfather's honor? Because it ain't working. That's not fair. The hell it isn't. I don't want a marine with a death wish covering my back. Get over it. I, I, Commander. About Lieutenant Olenko. How are you holding up? Can't say I'm better. Sorry for anything I said back there. I just... I don't want any deaths on my hands, and it's my fault. His blood. His blood, Ashley. Williams, listen to me. I'm in command of this mission. I made the call, not you. He's dead because, because of you. you. It's funny. I don't have any fear of dying for the Alliance. But when I think of someone dying for me, um, if you don't mind my asking, how did you deal with the losses on Akuz? It was my job to get everyone out safe. Like, you could have this conversation I after she fucking clocks Rex. Same here. I'll <laughs> you can, you can. I'll do better for him. It's yeah. wild. A good guy like him must be with God now, huh? So, nothing to be sad about. He must be happier. Thanks for the advice, Skipper. Dismissed. Sir. <sighs> it was an honor working with you, Commander Shepard. Despite the losses, our mission was a success. Lieutenant Alenko's actions will not go unnoticed. His sacrifice has earned humanity a great deal of respect from my people. A good officer is worth a lot more than your respect. I'd rather have him back. The loss of a trusted ally is never easy to accept. It is a shame that the greatest among us are prone to such sacrifices. Rest assured, Commander, my men and I will not forget what you have accomplished here. We will leave your ship as soon as you reach your next destination. Perhaps we will have the opportunity to work together again we're someday. both together. Kirahi and Mentor. Whoa, why? Yara at the end of the game. Oh, yes, I heard about this. She's in the pod the whole game. Are you... are you real? Oh, no, don't be stupid, Liara. Humans do not come here, you're hallucinating. And talking to yourself. <laughs> oh, goddess. I am going to die here. We're here to save your sorry ass. So snap out of it. You're rude for a hallucination. My subconscious must want to punish me for being this stupid. Bad girl. Doesn't matter what you think. I'm getting you out of there. You almost had me convinced there. Like, you leave her I in for the whole game, so she's just completely mind. gone. We're real enough. Stay calm. I'll get you out of there. You're oddly lucid for hallucination. They don't usually claim to be real. Oh my god. Or do they? <laughs> I guess I wouldn't know. I don't usually hallucinate. At least I don't think I do. Then maybe it's my not a Shepard. hallucination? The Office of Special Tactics and Recon sent me. <sighs> a specter? <laughs> That's good. What else would I conjure up? A protector figure, yes. Perfect. Comforting. Well, I'll play along. As you can see, I am trapped here. If you're as real as you claim, find a way to get me out. A There's protector. some kind of propulsion field in the way. It's a Prothean barrier curtain. I knew it would keep me safe from the Geth. When I turned it on, I must have hit something I wasn't supposed to. I was trapped in here. You must get me out, please. How'd you end up in there? Ah, yes, the figment of my imagination wants me to retrace my steps. See if I can figure out where I went wrong. You shouldn't have been messing with technology you don't understand. I know how it works. I've studied it. Oh, calm down, Lyra. You're yelling at a figment of your imagination. <laughs> we'll find some way to help you. Of course. What good is a hallucination if it can't offer false hope? Listen, if you're real... Find some way Sensory deprivation the chamber. Find some way Not even once. The <laughs> then use the control panel to release me. If you're not real, leave me alone. I'm tired of talking to myself. 
Now I am hallucinating that you are inside the tower. I must be getting worse. Earlier I even imagined I heard thunder. We use the mining laser to bore through. You bored through? <gasps> you're real, aren't you? By the goddess, you're real! Uh, I'm sorry. I, I thought you were a hallucination. I thought I was going mad. Please get me out of here before more Geth show up. I, I still cannot believe all this. Why would the Geth come after me? <laughs> right. Do you think Benezia? You didn't see all of that. You know, when we pick up that Asari scientist, we'll have to tell her we killed her mom. That's gonna suck. <laughs> Saren's looking for the conduit. Think fast, Miss Prothean expert. The conduit, but I don't know. <laughs> Joker, get the Normandy airborne and lock in on my signal. On the double, mister. Aye, aye, Commander. Secure and away. ETA, eight minutes. If I die in here, I'll kill him. <laughs> yes, okay. Wide Krogan. Thank you. Thanks, Azada. <laughs> In case you didn't notice, this place is falling apart. Exhilarating, isn't it? Thanks for getting rid of those energy fields for us. Hand the doctor over. No, no, I won't go with them. Is this really the time? The atmosphere is perfect for our life and death struggle. Ooh. All right, you just flex it now. Close, what are you doing? <laughs> Ten more seconds would have been swimming in molten sulfur. Red Shepherd, baby. The Normandy isn't equipped to land in exploding volcanoes. They tend to fry our sensors. <laughs> Instead, and melt you have to let go. <laughs> Just for future reference. We almost died out there, and your pilot is making jokes. Sometimes Joker's a real ass. Just try to ignore him. I see. It must be a human thing. <laughs> I don't have a lot of experience dealing with your species. Commander. You'll get used to it. What did Saren want with you? Do you know something about the conduit? Only that it was somehow connected to the Prothean extinction. That is my real area of expertise. I have spent the past 50 years trying to figure out what happened to them. They were wiped out by the Reapers, a race of sentient machines. The... the Reapers? But I have never heard if you of... Beat the game, if you, you could beat this? the game without what rescuing her and just cuts to her at the end of the credits like... I'm still trying to sort out what it all means. Not to mention the little run-in with Sovereign. I'd call that definitive proof. And then there's the cipher. I'm not sure what that other Asari did to you, but she did something. Sovereign, the cipher, a, a Prothean beacon. I I'm sorry, this is all a bit overwhelming. I just, I need a moment to collect myself. I have spent most of my adult life investigating the Prothean extinction. Decades of intense academic study and field research. And for what? I never thought it would end like this. You show up and tell me all the answers just fell into Whoops. your lap. It oh, isn't no. fair. All those years wasted. There's a rogue <laughs> specter out there looking to destroy the galaxy. Tough so quit shit. whining and help me stop him, or I'll drop your ass back in that volcano. I... I am sorry, Commander. I don't know what came over me. You are right, of course. We have to so stop your Saren. version that of Encarta really is totally you outdated. 95? <laughs> I'm my consciousness to yours. Maybe my the CD? Can help the hell is Wikipedia? We don't even have CD drive. We, we don't, don't have, have DVD time. drives anymore. <laughs> what the fuck do you want me to do with this there thing? There were other images, locations, <laughs> places I recognize from my research. Ilos. The conduit is on Ilos. Ilos. Never heard of it. I am not surprised. Ilos is in a region of space accessible only through the Mu Relay. But the Mu Relay was lost thousands of years ago. Nobody knows where it is. I have the coordinates for the Mu Relay. You do? But how? Uh, never mind. If you take us to the Mu Relay, I can give the vectors to take us to Ilos. You need to alert the Council. They will assemble a fleet to accompany you. Yeah. Together, you can... You... Oh... I am feeling a little faint all of a sudden. You need food and sleep. You Asari aren't as hardy as my people. You need to see the ship's doctor. It is probably just mental exhaustion, coupled with the shock of discovering the Prothean's true fate. Mm -hmm. I need some time to process all this. Still, it could not hurt to be examined by a medical professional. It will give me the chance to think things over. Are we finished here, Commander? Go see the doctor. The rest of you, dismiss. You say that, Rex, but we just fucking found out about Trinity. Uh, sorry, tossing another fucking old Krogan around. I warn you about Sarah. You didn't believe me then, and look how that turned out. 
I believe you humans have a saying. Even a broken clock is right twice a day. Here's another saying. Go to hell. Maybe we were wrong about you, Shepard. Maybe humans are too hot-headed to be specters. Enough. Commander Shepard has performed admirably so far. This discussion is only a minor disagreement. We seem to have a lot of disagreements, Counselor. Tell him. Yeah. Tell him. You can talk shit if you don't we disconnect, don't stand like up for I guess. ourselves. Say. No one else will. I thought the lesson of the first contact war was that there's other life in the galaxy, and they have opinions too. Perhaps so, Commander. But if aliens feel free to express their opinions at gunpoint, why shouldn't we? We should, but you're looking for a reason. I disagree. We have a backlog of grievances the aliens have ignored. The Ash is here for this. Mm -hmm. Were you at Shanxi? If not, shut your pie hole. It's not worth getting angry over, Chief. Right. I read you, Skipper. It's Commander. I don't know platform. What do you stand for? Our core value is that Earth must stand firm against alien influences, politically, culturally, and in the worst case, militarily. It's a noble goal. Too bad so many of your supporters are just racists. Oh? I can't deny that some of our supporters have extreme views. I don't think it's extreme to stand up for our inalienable human rights. No pun intended. Of course, Commander. I'm a patriot, Mr. Saraceno. You've got my vote. <laughs> it is gratifying to hear that. We can't allow anything like Shan Shi to happen again. Since I have your vote, could I convince you to issue a public statement of support for my candidacy? The support of the first human specter would be invaluable. You have the right to your opinion, Mr. Saraceno. But with all due respect, I disagree with it. I understand. That's the same that wasn't a cutback. That's the same conversation. Earth first, vote for the terra firma. God. Terra firma is a pack of jackals. The founders Hey man, we're ideas. all animals. These mm -hmm. days they just play off. And some animals are more equal than others. <laughs> I hope my reasons are more rational. We oh. humanity. I mean how to learn to more rational. Ourselves. I see. Uh -huh. I trust that's not insubordination, I hear. No, sir. That's patriotism. CSEC has declined to press charges. Did it, 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 not all have the desire to learn to use their abilities effectively. Wow. To have so many potential biotics that people can choose not to train? I imagine the lieutenant would be jealous. Alright. Where's the scene of Ashley closing Skipper. the laptop as she's browsing the Don't Terraforma message boards? <laughs> we had to Human do this Pride you know that. 69. There's no other way. <laughs> And you'll always be the skipper to me. Firma oh, Chan. Captain, captain. <laughs> Firma Chan. <laughs> As I recall, the captain dies in the poem. <laughs> Next Humans time shall I'll prevail, Uwu. <laughs> I'm not a word person, Shepard. Other people Commander. say what I mean better than I do. We're mutineers, sailing a stolen warship into the most hostile system in the galaxy. Just call us humanity's best and brightest. We wouldn't have been assigned to this ship if we weren't. We'll get it done. And if we don't, at least we won't have to face the firing squad. Death closes all. But something ere the end, some work of noble <laughs> may yet be done. Not unbecoming men that oh, Just with turning violence. his head like... Get home uh... I believe you'll lead us through. Oh, Captain. My Captain. Are oh, you gonna stand on a desk? Then follow it me to, to me my book? Be our last night alive. Got any plans? Trying a frontal assault. Hmm. All that training, you'd think they'd teach you the best approaches indirect to draw the enemy out of their fixed defenses. There are I regs against don't this like now. Her. You ready to deal with the consequences? I really don't. I've spent my whole life fighting to get what I want. To get it done. You don't like you don't I like combat flirting. <laughs> During that whole time, not even once did I feel like I was. I mean, if you want to have a a fuck fight, sure, but this, no, no, no. This is this is combat this flirting. Is this is enough. combat flirting. Yeah. Yeah. This is this is totally I can different. Feel much nah, more than nah. that. Come here. Mm, 
No. I think you're gonna have to come here. I'm not looking to be a toy, Ash. Well, I don't think of you as one. But I won't be all squishy and submissive either. This is gonna be a give and take. I'll show you what I mean. Aggressive. It was very aggressive with Liara as well. I was surprised. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, different angles! Well, she it ain't blue. Kinda weird. Cut back to Ashley saying that she's a disposable missile, just shoot her and oh, don't sure, think about sure, it. Sure, sure, sure. <laughs> so, ready for round two. <laughs> well, now, that's a whole new spin for on the floor and give me 20, huh? <laughs> You're incorrigible. <laughs> you, a oh, you, you, you a nanny from 100 years ago? <laughs> Well, geez, Shepard, if you can't laugh after that, when will you? Bridge to Commander Shepard. We're five minutes out from the Mew Relay. Well, duty calls. Get up to the bridge, Skipper. I've got other weapons to check out. Hey, Shepard, whatever happens down there, I just wanted to say... Wait, you know what? I'm not telling you. You want to hear this? You'll just have to come back to me. There you go. Well, that was gross. <laughs> Seems like every other race in the galaxy is wrapped up their own gods. They don't want to see what's coming. It's up to the Alliance to take its proper place. Even if we have to kick its ass to convince it to kick theirs. We're out here trying to save everyone. We can worry about who's king after the dust settles. You sound like you want the aliens dictating to us. I don't think many of them even want to. A lot of people don't understand that. I wouldn't shed any tears over Vernus. I'm not upset he's dead. Just sorry I killed him. I wasn't prepared for that. So, yeah, I hated that Turian. But it, but he wasn't a Turian to me. He was Vernus. Nice. <laughs> no. You can't deny the Turians are imperialists. And the Asari, the Salarians, they're manipulators. They aren't malicious. They're just slow to change. My story doesn't get any better if Vernus is a good guy. Saren and the Geth are running wild now. There's no time for slow to change, and you know it. Are you gonna let them pull humanity down with them? All right. Maybe it would be better if the Alliance had more pull on the council. Okay. In some ways. Benezia underestimated Saren. Unlocked. As I did. <laughs> we came to believe in his cause and his goals. The strength of his influence is troubling. Sounds like you, Asari, got in over your heads for once. <laughs> if they don't want to do anything, they should get the hell out of our way. It can only improve things if the Alliance was in charge. That's throwing the baby out with the bathwater, don't you think? What? That isn't what you've been pushing? Didn't you make an argument for pushing the Council out that the Alliance should demand its due instead of waiting to be accepted? Ease it back, kid. I'm not talking revolution, just getting our due. That's not what I got out of it. Did I misread you? Jeez, what else have I got wrong? Caden, there's a difference between me ranting in private and us, I don't know, launching a coup or something. Oh, damn. That's why I wear the stars. If I change my mind, all you have to do is keep up. But I got 50 men armed sure, up I downstairs, ready to go. As an officer, you should keep What am I supposed to the tell them? As a friend, I'd hope I wouldn't have to remind you of that. Maybe. Don't hurt, Caden. get the message wrong. Come on, Caden, it's no big deal. Sure feels like it. I'm sorry. I need to take a step back and have a look at this. I should return to my duties anyway. Commander? Stand down, guys. Stand down. Oh. <laughs> Absolutely we should. But the council can be salvaged. We shouldn't need to replace them. They just need to listen when we talk real politics. Real politics. I don't know if that's going to be enough. It's clear we need more the people term. like you. And here I was concerned you were damaged goods. Well, I've got a few scratches and dents. Hope they just give me character. We got some poli size writers on the on the Commander? on the dev team. For now, the alliance has to catch me before they can strip my rank. What do you need? I don't want to speak out of turn. I mean, I hope we're close enough after everything we've said already. What happens if this doesn't work out, Shepard? Are we mutinied? We stole a prototype warship? If they wanted to get technical, they could throw in kidnapping. Udina is blind to the big picture. It was time to act. 
If the greatest casualty is my career, we'll be damn lucky. Seems like the Reaper is really not a play on fears. The Council showed a repeated failure to get it. They were going to bring humanity down with them. Breaching to the choir, Shepard. They're walking into the Reaper's claws. 50,000 years to figure this out, and it's down to 25 mutineers. Way to go, Team Milky Way. <laughs> It'll really hit the fan when we get to Ilos. If things don't go well, I want you to know... Well... I've enjoyed serving under you. Jaden, I don't believe I've had the pleasure of you serving under me. Don't you think it's time to rectify that? Ouch. I walked right into that, didn't I? We could get drummed out of the service for fraternization. Of course, we'll probably get the firing squad. Were the lives recorded me. anyway? You're right. About everything. If you mod it, I'm curious. If you mod it, did they already have the lines the for both? Just keep going. Everything. Even the Reapers will come around. Oh, shit. They did. Are important right so it was possible? They recorded both Femshep and Maleshep having the, remo the romance lines for both, I guess. And then it was just removed outwards. Like fucking, yeah, like P4. Oh. So it's restored content. Cowards. I'd have gone elsewhere for that. I'm glad you didn't. Awkward this camera angle, though, man. Things. Jesus, can we get a fucking this is cut? A good like, crew. The that's, I've that's so no, no, let him let him stay close like that. Yeah. No, it's just it, that's an awkward <laughs> angle. No matter what you do, when you're talking to somebody and you're just nose to nose, like, okay, how long are we gonna have this conversation? Yeah. Okay. They actually. Oh, I'm on top. They actually. What are you? Well, oh no, no, I'm in the bottom. Hold up. Never mind. Switch. Oh, not the switch. They actually had it recorded. I was one because I was like, wait, are they gonna like retrofit the conversation? <laughs> Interesting. What witty banter is he gonna Commander say? Shepherd, we're five minutes out from the Mew relay. I swear though, if anything happens to you, take care, Shepard. Oh that's it. No quip, no no funny funny line. Normandy to the Citadel. Normandy to the Citadel. Please tell me that's you, Commander. Something about an You're L2. You're expecting or someone or else? <laughs> call, call, I don't know. I'm sitting here in the sector, Can't you use those biotics for something more interesting, you know? <laughs> Just unlock the relays around the Citadel. We'll send the cavalry in. You can't sacrifice human lives to save the Council. What have they ever done for us? Are you sure about this, Shepard? Human casualties will be very high if you send your fleet in now. This is bigger than humanity. Sovereign's a threat to every organic species in the galaxy. The Council must be sacrificed for the greater good. Don't waste your reinforcements. Hold them back until the Citadel arms open up. Save the human fleet to attack Sovereign. True. That's why you can't waste reinforcements trying to save the Council. You must hold them back until the Citadel arms open up and the human fleet can go after Sovereign. Sacrifice the Council to win the battle. A good plan, but only if it works. Oh, it'll work, Rex. A sacrifice for the greater good. I the greater the good. The greater good. We got your message, Ambassador. What's all this about? No need to get worked up, Captain. I'd like to end this meeting with all my teeth still in place. Can't you promise anything about that. I did. <laughs> if the Normandy was still grounded, we would be dead. <laughs> yeah. Pitch I test. I understand, Captain. You did what you had to do. That's not why you're here. We need to talk about what happened to the Council. Oh, what happened? Commander Shepard did the right thing. We had to hold our fleet back to go after Sovereign. And besides, Udina, I saw you flinch. I agree, but this <laughs> also <laughs> presents us with an opportunity. The Council is dead. The galaxy is looking for leadership. The Citadel fleets were decimated in the attack. The losses have made the Alliance stronger. If we step forward now, nobody will be able to stop us. This wasn't some plan for the Alliance to seize power. We need to work with the other races to rebuild. Okay, Noble Fedora words, Virgil. Your actions tell the real story. Ever since now the path is specter, clear I've been watching for us to rule happen. the humans. You're completely ruthless. The Council was always holding us back. When I saw the opportunity to get rid of them, Damn. I took it. Good God, Shepard. How can you even say that? You two are Don't next if you act up. Captain. We all know it's true. Sacrificing the Council assured our victory over Sovereign. The end justified the means. We humans understand that. Damn. It's what makes us stronger than the others. What are you saying? The galaxy needs leadership. Real leadership. 
When a crisis hits, we can't be paralyzed by debate like the old council. The new council must rule with a single voice. Uh -oh. It must be assembled from one Damn. species alone. Humanity. The birth of the Illuminati right here. We need to work together with the other species. It's the only way we can stand against the Reapers. <sighs> the other species are scared. They've never faced anything like this before. They don't know what to do. They want us to step forward. They believe in humanity because of you. Your ruthless pursuit of Saren and the Geth, your defiance of the Council, that's what humans are capable of. That's how we can defeat the Reapers. The others will follow us, Shepard. They know we're their only hope. We huh. will have a human you can pull this out of Udina. with a human chairman. Interesting. The ambassador's right. I may not like it, but we can't deny the truth. Oh, Given yeah? Everything you've done, Commander, the Alliance will want to know who you think our chairman should be. You're not going to pull a Rorschach? We need someone who understands how politics Wow, really what does works. this even look like? You've shown you know how to play this game. He is the logical choice. So what happens now? You two can argue politics all you want, but the Reapers are still out there. They're coming. And I'm going to find someone huh. to stop them. Raise your hands if you've never seen the Choose Udina path Shepard, of the right. ending. We're headed for war with the Reapers. <laughs> if we lose, it's the end of all life as we know it. And no other species in the galaxy truly understands what it will take to survive. The other races will have to follow our lead. We need to take control. It's time for humanity to rise up and seize its destiny. Wow. That was inside the whole time. <laughs> mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was wild. That's wild. <laughs> Opening the relays now, Joker. We need to save the Ascension no matter what the cost. I hope you know what you're doing, Shepard. Alliance ships, move in. Save the Destiny Ascension. You don't have to do that. Commander, we're picking up reinforcements. It's the Alliance. Thank the Goddess. Oh, damn. Well, that looks worthless. Oh, yeah. Destiny Ascension, you are all clear. Repeat, you are all clear. You saved not just our lives, but the lives of billions from Sovereign and the Reapers. And though we cannot bring back those valiant soldiers who gave their lives to save ours, we can honor their memories through our actions. Humanity has shown it is ready to stand as a defender and protector of the galaxy. Yay. You have proved you are worthy to join our ranks and serve beside us on the Citadel Council. We will need a list of potential candidates to fill humanity's seat on the Council. Given all that has happened, I am sure your recommendation will carry a great deal of weight, Commander. Do you support any particular candidate? We need someone with the courage to stand up for what he believes in. Someone like Captain Anderson. Shepard's right. Humanity is ready to do its part. United with the rest of the Council, we have the strength to overcome any challenge. When the Reapers come, we must stand side by side. We must fight against them as one. And together, we will drive them back into dark space. Secret third choice. That Alcor over there. <laughs> <laughs> I recommend him. <laughs> Shocked. Who? Me. <laughs> so this is the, uh, the early demo. Interesting. Mass Effect is a bright universe with a dark secret. A spectacular new vision of the future. Oh, 
You are Commander Shepard, the tip of the spear of humanity <laughs> on the galactic stage. You have a starship called the Normandy and will command its crew as you adventure through the galaxy. Nope. You will travel the vast -uh. of space and explore uncharted worlds. Not space. even. <laughs> it's drifted. <laughs> no, Mass sir. Effect sets the bar for next generation digital characters. You will have conversations with. Characters yeah, look at the contrast. Realism. And the UI. Oh. Our goal is to create the most reactive and dynamic dialogue system ever seen in a Yeah, that shot will work. It's pretty Besides, interesting. Besides, Commander, insults won't get you the info you need. A billion lives are hanging in the balance here. I won't let some piss ant bartender slow me down. Ooh. Wait, uh, hold on. I I just remembered. She's in the casino upstairs. Oh. You can't kiss her. Conversations are fluid and realistic. I get it's interesting because I get more of a KOTOR vibe from this lighting. I'm sick of your games. Yeah. This time you start yeah. Me some real There's some really dark, dark shadows in there. Hide this. What's the terrible secret? The machines are about to come back. I like this time. It's interesting. And specialized squad members and apply their unique skills in battle. Oh, whoa. Develop your ability to harness dark energy and unleash it on your enemies. Yeah, flashlights for dark fights. We got civilians trapped in the mines. One of the excavation teams couldn't make it out. Flashlights any one removed, flashlights any two removed. But keep an eye out for those miners. The mission objective didn't say anything about civilian shepherd. Like waypoints you for your team. Watch what I'm able to do when I lose patience with my squad member. Want to get him out. We can't endanger the mission for a bunch of I'm in charge here, Garrus, not you. I gave you an order and you damn well better follow it. Understood, Commander. Oh, and he's a uh, clean faced as well, right? Mm hmm Untrustworthy. Oh, there is a lock. Yeah, okay. Taking control of other teammates. Mm -hmm. uh, oh. Another another Kotor thing. The Geth would have sent an army to kill a few miners. There's something important now. We're gonna get it. That was just a small part of one of the planets in the Mass Effect universe. So with all these places to explore, hmm. the incredible depth of character interaction, and the level of control you'll have over your experience. Yeah, they really, they really like, like pulled it apart to separate. Like, is that was a, that's a lot like what they made before. The and then like, yeah, they kind of like pulled it out and it just went more, uh, you're a shooter and give your, give your team like commands. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Good stuff. Yeah, we reached the end. Thanks, Azana. That's a Thank you that's very a fun. Much. Yeah, that's a fun little little look at it. What could have been? Doctor Asana Strange. Seeing all the timelines. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, and I hate Ashley even more because of what's pretend, what's put, what's possible. <laughs> it's incredible. There's one. There's a timeline where that could occur. And that's the defining one. That's the worst timeline ever. Spacism. Boom, 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 boom. Couldn't take a chance, Skipper. Do you want to CQC with me? Commander, get the fuck out of here. It's terrible. Replace, replace the reporter's model with hers. Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> and cut the scene. Like you walk away, she's still folded. Oh my god, it's it's shameful because as a human, this this looks bad on me. You know. <laughs> anyway, there's a lot of possibilities there. Right. So. Yeah. Um, but it is, I suppose you can see the the bandwidth of how far they can go one way or the other, right? So, you know, I mean, again, you could also just fucking knock him in the face and yeah. pop, pop, so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm happy that didn't happen. <laughs> very, very interesting. 